Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Friday, and uh, it is the 15th of July. We're in the 15th week of ordinary time, and today we celebrate um, the uh, memorial of St. Bonaventure, uh, Bishop and Doctor. Um, he was, uh, St. Bonaventure was born in the year uh, 1218, um, just an incredible writer uh, of, both, uh, of both philosophy and theology. Um, so he, um, oh yeah. So friends, let's begin our morning prayer uh, with the invitatory. Actually, before we begin, I gotta flip a page or two. Where am I at? There we go. All right. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the Flock. Faith of our fathers, faith and prayer, shall win all nations unto thee. And through the truth that comes from God, Mankind shall then indeed be free. Faith of our fathers, holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. Faith of our fathers, we will love both friend and foe in all our strife and preach thee to as love knows how, by kindly deeds and virtuous life. Faith of our fathers, holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. You alone have I grieved by my sin. Have pity on me, O Lord. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offense is truly, I know, that my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me here rejoicing in gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins, turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart, create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. 
O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit, and heal our troubled conscience, so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit, we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. You alone, I have grieved by my sin. Have pity on me, O Lord. Truly, we know our offenses, Lord, for we have sinned against you. Let my eyes stream with tears day and night without rest over the great, destu over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, look, those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest forage in a land they know not. Have you cast off Judah completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail, a time for healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O Lord, our weakness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not. Disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us, and break it not. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Truly we know our offenses, Lord, for we have sinned against you. The Lord is God. We are his people, the flock he shepherds. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God devoted to us as a father, you created us as a sign of your power and elected us, your people, to show your goodness. Accept the thanks your children offer, that all men may enter your courts praising you in song. The Lord is God. We are his people, the flock he shepherds. <clears throat> a reading from the Book of Wisdom. Simply I learned about wisdom, and ungrudgingly do I share. Her riches I do not hide away. For to men she is an unfailing treasure. Those who gain this treasure win the friendship of God, to whom the gifts they have from discipline commend them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the peoples proclaim the wisdom of the saints. Let the peoples proclaim the wisdom of the saints. With joyful praise, let the church tell forth the wisdom of the saints. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let the peoples proclaim the wisdom of the saints. Those who are learned will be as radiant as the sky in all its beauty. Those who instruct the people in goodness will shine like the stars for all eternity. 
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Those who are learned will be as radiant as the sky in all its beauty. Those who instruct the people in goodness will shine like the stars for all eternity. Christ is the good shepherd who laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise and thank him as we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. Christ, you decided to show your merciful love through your holy shepherds. Let your mercy always reach us through them. Nourish your people, Lord. Through your vicars, you continue to perform the ministry of shepherd of souls. Direct us always through our leaders. Nourish your people, Lord. Through your holy ones, the leaders of your people, you served as physician of our bodies and our spirits. Continue to fulfill your ministry of life and holiness in us. Nourish your people, Lord. You taught your flock through the prudence and love of your saints. Grant us continual growth in holiness under the direction of our pastors. Nourish your people, Lord. Gathering these prayers, these intentions, calling to mind the prayers and the intentions of our own hearts, we lift up our voices, praying those sacred words of Jesus himself, and together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All-powerful Father, may we who celebrate the Feast of St. Bonaventure always benefit from his wisdom and follow the example of his love. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And thank you for joining me today for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. How good it is for us to join together each morning, praying the prayer of the church. Um, friends, just uh, a quick little uh, announcement. Um, next week, um, next week uh, I'm going to be gone uh, on vacation, so um, I will be uh, able to live stream uh, and, and post uh, morning prayer uh, tomorrow morning uh, and then again on Sunday morning. But then uh, until Wednesday of the following week, um, I will be uh, will be the next time I'm uh, I'm, I'm back in town to post. So, um, or at least in regards to uh, to morning prayer. So, uh, I will. Um, so yeah, so I will see you to uh, tomorrow uh, and on Sunday. Um, but we'll have this. Uh, we'll still be able to pray together. I certainly will still be praying uh, while I'm gone. Um, but we will not have this virtual format uh, to pray together. Um, so, uh, friends, today's St. Bonaventure, uh, just a magnificent saint. Um, if you don't know him, uh, you should, so get to know St. Bonaventure. So, friends, uh, whether you're out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be 
healthy today, to be happy today, but above all, remember to be holy today, to live out the holiness of Jesus Christ today in your life. May God be praised in you. May God be praised through you. And friends, I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.